Welcome to the Adhocracy Show, the show for people who like a good rant. Ooh. We'll be right back. And we're back. I'm J.D. Melville. And I'm David Landine. And uh, first off, make sure you subscribe to this channel. We release videos every Monday, and so you can know about those videos if you subscribe. Absolutely. Um, also, uh, make sure that you give us a like on this video. Give us a good thumbs up. Yeah. <laughs> Which way does a thumb go? I, don't, I, I think, think it's it like goes this. the other way. This? Is it the, the hands? I don't know. Yeah. Don't anyway, know. thumbs up. One of the thumbs. Uh, and uh, it's just, you know, we, if you watched the Prehocracy show, you showed, you talk, we oh, talked yeah. about, you know, sharing positivity with each other and talked about all the positive attributes and giving us a thumbs up would, you know, build that positivity. Yeah, there's a link in the description below as well. We'll have the little, the little link at the end of this video. Um, we definitely share some of the best characteristics of each other on the show. You may want to see who, how great we are. Yeah. <laughs> We're feeling great about ourselves. We're pretty amazing. <laughs> <laughs> um... If you didn't know, the Prehocracy show is the show, like we film a pre-show as we're getting ready and getting everything going. We film a pre-show. We film all this stuff and we, we answer some questions and kind of get, do a little bit, get to know you. And uh, yeah, it's, it's kind of interesting. So if you want to get to know us on a deeper level, uh, definitely go watch, uh, go watch that. Yeah, so, so this show, we're going to be talking about the soapbox. We're going to go off about some things that we're kind of angry about. But first, let's get into the Instagrammer you should follow. Now, the Instagrammer you should follow, I, uh, I, I reached out to her, her name is Eliza. Um, handwriting typography is all the rage right now. Um, it's, it's taken a real big um, interest. People are coming back to it. A lot of people are coming to it. There was that video about um, the calligrapher, the master oh. calligrapher. Um, I think it, it's, it's, it's one of those things that I'm, I'm, you see the trend of it and it's happening and it's like, oh, that, you know, this is mm -hmm. going to be a thing. It's a thing. Yeah, it's here. Now, I... I, I've come across a lot of beautiful handwriting type stuff. Um, I, I'll show just a couple clips here. Um, and one of the things that I love about one, her handwriting is that she's got some very wonderful control. Um, her, her letters seem really um, kind of joyful and, and fun and interesting and, and kind of playful in a lot of ways. But watching her do it, um, you can, you can wow. see how um, like careful and, and go, like, like the control on the on her strokes are I just know. wonderful. I would I would love to see you know like I don't know, like so I want to see like write my name. I want to like know what my name would look like, <laughs> <Or> like <laughs> what our show's name would look like. You know, like what how would she write at hypocrisy? Like, oh yeah. Um, one of the one of the other things that I absolutely love about mm -hmm. her work, um, she's got some really interesting work. She's done a lot of interesting stuff. Um, but at one point, I'm, I was looking through, um, and and I found these like pictures of, um, of like so galaxies, and star stuff. systems, yeah, or... star systems. And and when I was first looking at it, I was kind of like, okay, how is she taking those pictures? These aren't pictures; she's painting these. Wow. These are beautiful. Um, in fact, she's got um, on her page again. Um, she's got video of of how she does some of these like star system things, just putting oh in different Lord. colors. So a lot of the stars or the white parts is the paper showing through, which is interesting. Yeah, some of it. And then I, I'm guessing that she probably comes back in with like, um, a, like a gouache or something and adds like some bright, bright whites. But that is amazing. So that that I mean that was another thing with her work that I absolutely loved. I mean, look at this letter with with like the the space thing in it, like beautiful. That is that is amazing. Beautiful work. That is um, Eliza. Let me spell that out. Eliza Calligraphy, E-L-I-Z-A-H, Calligraphy. Um, thank you so much, Eliza, for letting us share your work. We really appreciate it. Um, keep up the good work. Thank you. And, you know, hey, if you want to ever send us something, we'll put it up here. We have, <laughs> we have this nice space fitter to display your, your work. This is it's pretty amazing. <laughs> Absolutely. All right. Thank you. So that has been Instagrammer. You should follow. All right. I, I, I think for this next part, this is going to be a new segment we're introducing. It's called the Soapbox. And, you know, we, I have things that kind of bug me sometimes. <laughs> Do they? Yeah, a little bit. And I feel like they might, if they bug me, maybe they bug other people. Well, maybe. You know, because I'm a fairly normal person, yeah. I feel like. But 
I think that we need to start bonding over getting stuff off our off our chest. You know, okay, like okay. a little. So we're we're gonna get a soap. We're gonna we're gonna call this the soapbox. Whoever is talking, they get the soapbox, and they have one minute. So pull up a timer, and we're gonna do one minute to to get it off your chest, and then that's it. You're done. So and I'll go first. Okay, let me get my timer here. Okay. Make sure that uh, we're running time. Okay. Are you ready? I, I'm ready. Go. YouTube doesn't have a replace video function. So at work, I have to make videos. And I put these videos online, and then they update the packaging, or they update something, and they want to make another video. Now, we sent this video link out to all these different customers that they can put up on their website so they can do whatever they want with it. And then, all of a sudden, I can either take down that video and lose all the views, and which doesn't really help, or uh, I want to put this, up this new video, it'd be great to have a replace video function. So that way, I can take the video, I can just change it out. I don't care about the view count, sure, make it down to zero, but at least the link won't change. Make a replace video. It seems like a no-brainer. It seems like something everybody would use. Make it a paid thing, but it would help us out so, so much. You take the video, you replace the video, the other one, you know, it's not there anymore because it's outdated, the link stays the same, and you can keep sending it out to everybody. That's what needs to happen. Right. Five seconds left. YouTube, do it. Do it. End time. Yeah. All right. That wasn't too bad. That was. How do you feel? Are you feeling good? Got I, that off there your chest? Yeah, I I'm feeling a lot better. And you know maybe maybe this will like get big and YouTube will listen to me. Maybe they will listen to you. We really do love that. YouTube because we're on here all the time. Absolutely. But, but that would just. I, I can't talk about it anymore because my time's up. <laughs> All right. So you're on the soapbox. I'll take the timer. Okay. You won't let me cheat and do my own time. No, you can't start. <laughs> Are you ready? Okay. And go. Okay. This one's for you, creatives. First off, I want to say when you come to critiques, when you come to looking at anything, I want you to take yourself out of the equation. It's so easy. It's so easy to jump in and be like, that sucks. I, I'm part of these different groups um, where online people like put up their logo and they're like, you know, hey, tell me what you think. Now, granted, I think the person should probably explain a little bit more about what they're doing, why they did it, the clients and the inputs. And, okay. Um, but people like comments, comments that don't help, that aren't creative. They just say, start over. Oh, this sucks. Oh, this is the worst. Oh, did you really go to school for this? We all started somewhere. We all needed help. We all need someone to point us in the right direction. And saying stuff like, start over, that's not helping anyone. Now, when you go and look at a, at a logo, when you're looking at a sign, when you're going in and looking at a menu, you're like, oh, this is gross. Uh, stop. Time. <laughs> that was good. That was good. That's pretty good, right? Yeah. <sighs> Feeling good. Yeah. All right. All right. All right. You ready? Yeah, I'm ready for this one. This one I'm ready for. <sighs> All right. You ready? I'm ready. Go. Okay. So as a videographer, I have to do a lot of exports when it comes to videos or different things or, you know, opening large files. And they have that bar on the bottom that says how much time is left. Estimated time remaining. You know, I hate it when it gets down to one second. And you know what? That one second lasts for like five minutes. Computers are supposed to be smart. They're supposed to understand, you know, math. And so rather than let's, let's just Fix this problem, okay? If it says five minutes, I would love it if it said five minutes. I would love it if it said like two hours. Great, I know how long to estimate. But don't put it down to one second and then have it sit there for like two hours. It's annoying, it's dumb, okay? Let's, I'm not a computer programmer, so what do I know? But guess what, there's computer programmers out there. Guess what they do? They build computers, they build software. So have it do math correctly, have it understand time, and then fix this problem so you don't have one second not remaining for 11 weeks. I don't know. And stop. <laughs> that was good. That was, that felt really good, actually. Yeah? It did. <laughs> you, were, that, you were holding that one in for oh, a while. Oh, man. I tell ya. Okay. All right. <clears throat> All right. Okay. All right. You ready for this? I think so. Okay. And go. This one's a little less creative. Now, I... I am hating news right now. News in general. Now, when they say news, they really just mean bad news, right? Mm. Like, it, it's all about death and murder and suicide and just violence and awfulness. When when anyone comes to um, a good story, a good, wholesome, lighthearted story, something that someone's doing well, right? 
What is the comment? Oh, well, they must have a slow day in the newsroom. I hate that. I, I hate that news. I, like, it just, it just gets me all worked up and worried. And I'm sitting there looking at, uh, you know, all this murder and all this stuff. And I'm sitting there thinking, I can't do a thing about this. But now I'm worried about it. Now I'm going to worry about someone coming in my house murdering me. Now I'm worried about earthquakes. Now I'm worried about floods. I hate floods. Floods are just terrifying to me. Anyway, I dislove the news. Uh, we need to find a way to really make this stuff better. We need to find a way to like really work together and make good news. And stop. All right. Are you ready, David Landine? <sighs> this is our last one. Okay, I've been holding this one in for a while. I will let you know. So if I can get this all in with a minute, it'll be it'll be amazing. Okay, here we go. And start. On my way to work in the morning, I listen to a news radio station. And their whole thing is about trust and honesty. You can trust us because we report the news honestly. Now, also relate to news. Okay, so what they do is after they report a story, then they have, then they, these, the, the news anchors, the people that you're supposed to be trusting, then advertise. They talk about this is the best place in the world to take your car. This is the best place to take, to, to have you clean your carpets. This is the best place to do this. Now, they never acknowledge that they are advertising. They never acknowledge that this is a paid commercial. They're being paid to say this. If I'm supposed to be trusting you about the news, then why are you now advertising to me as if you, as if, with nothing different about this, as if you're reporting a news story? You say, trust, honesty, but trust us with this. They're paying you to say it. Why are you telling me this? Ignol I, I would have no problem if you're acknowledging like, hey, this is a paid advertisement. These are people who sponsor us, but you don't. You just say, go to this place because it's the best place to clean your carpets. Stop it. Just stop, okay? Change the way. It's called uh, ethics. You okay? I'm good. Calm down. I could have gone on for another few minutes. Yeah. I think it's good that I only did one. You were holding that one in for a while, I, I can tell. Every time a commercial comes on. Ooh. Wow. Okay. Uh, is there anything out there that you're ranting about? Stuff that you cannot stand? Uh, put that in the comments below. We'd be welcome. We, we, we're, we are... I can't talk anymore. We would be welcomed to Soapbox for you. How do you say that? Proxy Soapbox. Proxy Soapbox. What else do you want us to complain about? Maybe, um, maybe the same thing that you're complaining about is something that we're complaining about. Or were there any of these topics that were, you know, ones that you hate as well? You know, any of these that struck a chord with you? Well, let us know in the comments below. Also, make sure that you like this video since you're sitting right here. Uh, subscribe, and uh, if, if you'd like, share. Share this, you know. Maybe, maybe someone else is feeling this and needs to hear it. And you can also let us know on Instagram, Twitter, and uh, Facebook, the other social media that I had took a little, little bit to remember. <laughs> Um, and yeah, for the made up fact of the day, um, if you subscribe, uh, one of these things that we just talked about will be resolved immediately. Oh my gosh. That sounds amazing. I know. Why would you not subscribe? Oh, uh, David Landine, tell me, tell me. Uh, <laughs> let's build each other's egos out. Let's, let's, let's just, let's just build the ego here. Um. Tell me, what do I do right?